Hi guys, my name is Al Rassis and I am playing Insanity of Life. In this episode, I will show you how to craft your weapon. But first, let me tell you that my name is Al Rassis. I love playing this game and I also made an awesome chart that helps you get through the steps you need to become an awesome player in this game, how to become a pro. Check it out in the description of my videos. Also, if you want to support me, you can send me stuff in game and I will dedicate a video to you. All right, let's see. So first, let me take you through what weapon crafting is. Okay, so check out my inventory and shit. Whoops, didn't want to do that, no problem. So that's my inventory and um, I have these weapons here, Trinium Shadow Sword and Trinium Shadow Axe that I want to craft. So what do I need for that? I need something called a Scroll of Craftsman Wisdom. And you're like, where'd you get that? Where'd you get that scroll and what is it for? Let me first tell you where I got it from. I got it from the item mall on the website and you type in scroll of craftsman uh, craftsman or something crafts man and I just wanted to I just wanted to show you guys um you can't really see that but it it costs 50 IP and so 50 IP equals 37 pair and you're like Alarasis how do you know that and I'm like, dude, go check out the price chart that I made in the description of my videos. It also has a table to calculate that shit. So there's another link in the description of my videos to a price chart and whatever. And then the next uh, thing is, um, the next thing you're gonna ask is, Elrasis, what do you need that scroll for? So I'm gonna explain that to you. So check it out. So um, check out the Trinium Shadow Sword here. It says, um, Trinium Shadow Sword level one. And then it says, nothing else well that sucks it should say something else so I'll explain it with the I'll explain it with the with my other weapon the Malefic Conqueror axe here so it says level 38 right and usually a level 38 um, weapon will give you plus 38 strength but this one here, it gives me strength, dexterity, intelligence, and stamina because it's already grafted. This one has already been grafted. So that's cool, right? You're like, wow, he gets all of that extra stat. And if you level up that, if you level up that, um, uh, that weapon more, it's gonna give you more um, extra stats. Okay, and you cannot only level um, weapons up, um, you cannot only craft them to have all of the four different stats, you can also craft them to have one stat and and um, give you double the stat of that. Like here, you see my Conqueror Sword and it's level 38, but it gives me 76 strength. And um, what I'm gonna do for, what I'm gonna do for these two uh, weapons here is I'm gonna go for all of the four different stat types. So I want on both, I want all of the four different stat types. And then you're like, but LRS is what's the maximum level for weapons? And I can tell you, it's level 120, so 120 levels. And then you're like, LRS, how do I get there? So usually, normally you get, um, you get that, you get weapon XP from monsters, um, from just killing monsters. And you get that only from monsters that give you normal XP. So you can't kill level 15 monsters. It's not gonna work. You need to kill level 300 monsters. And there is a way that lets you um, that lets you level your weapon efficiently. Okay, so um, let me show you guys. So here, uh, here in the island grass desert thingy, let me show you guys. It's called um, Kylon Grassland. Kylon Grassland. You will find this region here, and here you will find the chief Kyok Kook. And what you can do is you can go there and you can kill him until he has 10% life left. And then you get on your broom or other flying mount. And he will just go back to where he came from. And he's going to be like, he's going to be like, bam, I don't even care. If you're on your flying mount, I'll go back to 100% HP. So it's not about killing monsters. It's about taking life from them with the weapon leveling. So what you do is you kill kill him until he's 90% dead and then you get back on your broom and then he's gonna go back to 100% and then you can do the same thing over and over again and you're gonna get a lot of nice weapon XP. And you're like, hey, check it out. So this Chief Kokoko, he is um, 
earth. He has the element of earth. So when you do that, it's recommended that you put the element of wind on your weapon so that you can do more damage on him. Because if you do more damage, the leveling is going to be faster of your weapons. And um, there's also a second... You can, you can actually do this on any monster you want, but it really works on Chief Kokoko very well. And um, there's also one other monster that you want to kill, and that's called... Um, ah, shit, I forgot the name, whatever. So it's that, it's that monster that you can't find in Insanity Flips, so that's a problem. It's only available on uh, Halloween event, and it's on the Halloween event... Um, map and it's like that fluffy flying balloon and it's pink it's a fluffy flying balloon a pink balloon i forgot the name but if you go to the halloween map at halloween you will see it and if you kill those they will give you a lot more xp for your weapon than any other of these um monsters that are available in this game Okay, and then there are also scrolls for craftsman uh, leveling for leveling these um, for leveling these weapons, and there is one scroll called um, scroll of craftsman temper, one hundred percent, and there is the other one called scroll of craftsman temper fifty percent. You can find them in the shop, and the fifty percent one you can get for vote points. And if you activate that, it's it's gonna allow you to level your weapon faster. Okay, so that's a really awesome scroll. Okay, I think that was all on leveling the weapon. And now um, let me recap that. So you need, um, what, what you can achieve with those is you can get, with those scrolls is you can get strength, you can get all of the four stats instead of um, only one stat, or you can get double the stats of one specific type, in this, um, in this case strength. And with shields, you can get all of the stats, uh, stats multiplied by two. So with the shield, you would get, you would not get 38 strength dex int, but you would get 76 strength dex and int. Okay, and the problem is, of course, that um, it's not, it's not always going to be what you want. So you will need more of these scrolls, and they're 37 pair in each. So. It's sometimes it's going to be hard to get that and you're going to be like i didn't get it i've spent so much money so it sucks and um if you're like how the fuck do i get the money for that then i'm all like dude what you need to do is you need to follow the chart that i made in the description of all of my videos and this point number two will show you how to get money and then you go on advance in the game this is something for this is something for end game stuff so you don't you don't you don't do that you don't do that on the first day. So, okay. So let's do this. I'm really excited about this because um, this is still freaking expensive and these swords are brand new. So let's do this. Let's, let's craft these weapons. So you click the, the box, uh, the scroll, scroll of craftsman wisdom using the scroll weapon will yield research, blah, blah, to give you a random new attribute. So, bam. Attack plus two. It's not worth anything. It sucks. Bam. Attack plus three. Holy shit. Oh, yes, I got it. Strength, dex, in. So it took me three scrolls for the sword, and I was really lucky. I think I was really lucky on this one. Strength, dex, in, stamina, plus one. So as soon as I level it up, it will give me a lot more stuff, okay? Attack plus three, and the second scroll. Attack plus five. Oh my God, that sucks. Yes! Another three scrolls. So I was really lucky. I can keep the rest of the scrolls because I will need them for my other characters, you guys. Okay, you guys saw that it took me three scrolls respectively for um, each of these um, uh, for each of these uh, weapons. So I, I, I think I was really lucky, and um, and um, I think that this really pays off because if you are patient and you level this shit to level one twenty, then it's going to be 120 strength that you get, 120 dex, 120 int, which you don't need, and 120 stamina. Well, if you're another class that needs int, then you need it, but in this case, it's not the case. And the same thing with the second weapon. So it works on both weapons. So that's a really awesome way to get a lot more stats, let me tell you that, guys. So um, 
I hope you enjoyed this video and because um, I do enjoy making them for you. <laughs> and I hope I'll see you in my next videos. And uh, please go and check out the chart that I made that helps you um, level and helps you become a pro in the game. It's in the description of any of my videos. And uh, yeah, if you want to support me, please um, feel free to, to do so. So um, I will see you guys soon and stay tuned. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. I love you guys. Bye.